beating yourself up. Over the last few days I've talked about going to a plan B, so when we can't do the first thing we intended to do, doing the next best thing. I talked about slowing down and speeding up rather than stopping completely. And for me, from my experience of 22 years of doing this, particularly 12 years of running Rise, what often happens is when we can't or don't do the thing we set out to do, we internally make it so much more than it has to be. We beat ourselves up over it. We turn it into, I failed, I'm a failure, there's something wrong with me. We add all these extra layers of emotion on top of what is just a fundamentally a number of minutes or hours worth of slightly different choice, and get more than it has to be, usually making it something that then derails us to a large degree. Because usually what's happened has or can have far less of that emotion attached. We didn't fail, we don't beat ourselves up, we just haven't done a workout we intended to out of the thousands of workouts we've got left in us in the rest of our life. We just made one different food choice out of the multiple thousands of food choices that lie in front of us. We can just choose to put it in that context, to know we just need to make another different choice at some point to average that back out again. So ultimately, if you're beating yourself up, I know it's easier said than done, but stop that. Recognize the thing that happened for just what it is. It was 20 minutes, 60 minutes, 10 seconds worth of a particular decision that had a certain amount of impact on your forward progress, but that can probably quite easily be averaged out with a similar application of time and effort in the future.